Jail is one of the scariest places that I've ever been in my life. The prisons are built upon the test scores of the elementary school children. And based upon those test scores that they see, that is how they come to the conclusions of how many prisons need to be built within the next 10 years. You see these young teens that are out midnight, two, three in the morning, uh, involved in this violent behavior, you know, and what's going on with the families? Back in the 90s, the, the, the African-American family it was pretty much ruled by grandmother. If you got if you got a child in trouble there with a grandmother, they'd straighten that child out. Now we don't have that. And I think we need to work on ways that and, and uh, that we can bring these kids into an environment where we can mentor them and and teach them and talk with them uh, before they get tied up into really violent crimes. I'm not going to tell you that you can't make money selling drugs. You can, and you can make a lot of it. I know, because I've made a lot of it. He actually followed her towards the back of the, towards the dressing room, and that's where he shot my daughter. Uh, that life led me into a life of crime. Uh, I went to jail for shoplifting, uh, prostitution. I ended up that he was in, learning that he was in jail for murder that he had murdered his wife and that he had murdered his son and um, he had an issue with drugs, um, severe mental illness. And the whole time I'm listening to this guy uh, tell uh, recounts of his accounts of his story, I'm just wondering how, why am I in here with this guy? Meanwhile, Lembrick is accused of opening fire yesterday when police responded to a domestic dispute America's police officer, Nicholas Smarr, was killed. We had the officer shooting um, that got national attention in December of 2016, and it really just set the community back. When I'm stopped by an officer, the first thing that happens with me, my anxiety goes up. Because I know already that it could go sideways. Half people out there that really do things to entice law enforcement and knowing that they should not be doing it. You know, we need to give people a, a little bit of a, a second chance, an opportunity. It, it's incumbent on us to find ways to bring everyone into the, into the fold to have a better way of life. What changed me was I, my daughter, I got out and I was angry and I really didn't want to talk to anyone, but I had a daughter being born, and I say something got to give. 